You have entered the Chronics rabbit hole. And Gojira fans, we are finally doing a song, and it is Stranded. This is Thumbnail Lady's first time hearing Stranded. We have heard Flying Whales together, but that is it. So Stranded is a first time for Alana. <laughs>
I loved that. <laughs> so what's interesting about this band, they're from France and they have two brothers in there, the singer and the drummer. And this song and this album, Magma, was made after I believe their mom passed away. And so this song, Stranded, is about losing, I think, the mom and that feeling that they had. And that stranded feeling that you lose when you can't talk anymore. And it's like a complete shutdown and separation. So um, it's a very powerful song. And also, their guitar riffs are just so unique. Like make us they they can make a squealing sound sound really good though, mm-hmm. like right, but like it fits still and like it's just so different compared to other um, styles of music that I've heard. Really, it's really cool to know that they uh, had um, written this song after their mom passed. Yeah, um, I will be honest, I did not get that sense when I was listening to the song. Um, just with the imagery and like with the lyrics and stuff, I was getting a completely different vibe. Right. What did, what were you um, feeling? So when I was listening to it, because the lyrics are very clear in this one, which I loved. And I know a lot of, for me, a lot of metal bands, it's actually, I have to focus quite hard to hear what they're saying or yeah. pick up a lot of the lyrics, but it was like, you kill me face down dead. Yeah. It's like their big chorus. But, oh, like, yeah. um, the imagery when they were bringing the um, woman's body in. Yeah. And then using a spell or that goop to, like, have a demonic possession of this Definitely. woman's body. Yeah. And then the really cool Doing thing. the grudge moves. A <laughs> um, couple things that I just know from my knowledge of things. Yeah. Is um, breaking over eggs is a breaking eggs is a prophecy thing about right. telling prophecy and yeah. reading prophecy. Yeah. And then um, one of the eggs she broke was a blood Ooh. egg, okay. which is actually a prophecy of death on coming. Oh, so go. um, having a dust egg and a regular egg and then the blood egg right. that she was breaking apart was wow. um, the prophecy cool. of awesome. um, death coming. Yeah. And then when they were bringing people in that have like the tribal makeup and actually taking a, vi- yeah. a photo of them, Okay. Um, which is also something that I know from my own knowledge and research that I've done, um, is that take a lot of uh tribal tribes and people within like the tribal communities. Yeah. Um, taking their photograph is actually stealing like their the soul, soul or their life. essence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're taking them and having like that. Yeah. It's different than a painting. Totally, I get it. It's a completely different thing than a yeah. painting. Like, you can paint them, but if you take a photo of it's them... It's a legit... It's that exact yeah. essence. Yeah. So, it was really interesting how um, the band members were, with the tribal makeup, were imprisoned, but the people who were taking the photos and in the photos, holding them in the chair, had their faces covered so you couldn't take their essence. Yeah. And those were the ones who were also summoning this demonic en- entity, which was alone in the darkness. And evil comes alone in the darkness and comes within itself. Crazy, and then breaking eh? open the eggs for the prophecy and stealing the souls of the other members. So that was something that I picked up visually. So um, with it, you mentioning that they wrote this after their mom had passed... That puts um, even more to it, doesn't it? It puts a lot more <laughs> to it because if the egg prophecies that were being broken open by this thing was they the egg prophecy was uh, explaining that death was oncoming. Yeah, because I think she was so, battling something terminal. Okay, so that's really. I'm pretty sure it was like a cancer or something like that. And we'll make sure and let us know for sure because I could mm-hmm. be wrong and I don't want to get something that magnitude wrong. So please let me know if I was correct there. I will check to make sure, but I want you guys to mm-hmm. let me know if I'm correct or if her interpretation was or correct my... too because she's still with the interpretation. I put, took out a bunch of things that I did not <laughs> even see and it only helped, at least with my interpretation with how she was bringing these images out i was like holy snap that that actually fits even better for me now and i'm like i'm hoping that i was correct with my previous knowledge with this band already because i do know the song and know a yeah. little bit about them so i'm hoping i did so some me justice coming in blind not knowing i'm like oh well this is what i'm seeing and yeah. picking up on um, the guitar that nee, 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 nee. yeah that was my favorite. I See? loved that I know. because they were digestible to listen to and hear the lyrics 
They were rocking. They were hard. Yeah. But they had that. Nee, 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 and I'm like, ooh, I love this. We love like, those noises. I love <laughs> progressive music. Don't you? Don't you? I love it because it's not. Don't you wish not... your girlfriend was hot like me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's not what you hear on the radio, at least here where we live. It, this is not on the radio. Same pop here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just pop music. Oh my God, kill me. So pretty awesome. <laughs> Another success. This is a band that I like myself. So it's awesome to know that she has now liked Opeth and Gojira. And you guys can let us know exactly what you would like Thumbnail Lady to react to next with Gojira. There's a lots of good options with them. They've been around, I think, since mid-2000s. So they got a little bit of a catalog, but they're still a little bit new. And they're one of the bands that a lot of the old metal bands actually have a lot of respect for and mm -hmm. speak really highly about. So it's awesome to give these guys some uh, love as well so if you guys want to chat with us outside of youtube you can come onto our discord where there's a lot of cool band um supporters that have joined the discord and we do a lot of fun stuff on there and share a lot mm -hmm. of pictures and uh show each other our cats which is always <laughs> awesome and fun because Fuzzy babies are the best, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always posting cat pics. And we have a lot of band pictures of people making instruments and all kinds of things that don't just come for the cat pics. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, we love you guys. Peace and love. We're exiting out of the rabbit hole now. God bless y'all. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. A special thanks goes out to all of our wonderful patrons. We appreciate you so much.